Today I'm speaking with Prince Chagosi Iko from the University of Nigeria in Nsoko, Inugo State in Nigeria. Welcome. Thank you. And you've recently published an article in Rural and Remote Health titled Better to Die of Disease Than Die of Hunger, the experience of Igwe's traditional rulers in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic in rural southeast Nigeria. Yes. Um, I wonder if you could first tell us a little bit about um, the research team. Okay. Um, the research team comprised of my colleagues in University of Nigeria and Soka. So uh, three of them I are uh, teaching staff, just like myself, in the Department of Social Work, while one is a postgraduate student in the Department of Political Science. But we needed someone from the Department of Political Science because he understands the political undertone of what we are doing. So we are social workers and political scientists together to do the research. Terrific. And how did your research come about? Okay, uh, first off, we what we were doing a study on the impact of COVID-19 on older people in rural Nigeria because the focus has been in the urban centers. And we thought that we should focus in rural Nigeria and older people in particular, how it's affecting them. But a variable kept on coming up in all our interviews. They mentioned Igwe's traditional rulers. So at some point, we thought to ourselves that maybe it, to, uh, in order to fight against COVID-19 in rural Nigeria, we also need to explore the role of these traditional rulers, how their experiences, what they do. Because if we eradicate it in the urban area and there is high infection rate in the rural area, we've not made much progress. So that's why we decided to do this study. And what did you find? Okay, uh, the key findings we had in the study was that the in an effort to stop COVID-19 you know, spread in rural areas, these traditional rulers stopped uh, ceremonial gatherings, which can serve as super spreaders. They gave rural, rural people health uh, information through town criers, and uh, they also educated rural people in the churches and in the market squares. So, but also in our findings, we found out that uh, Skepticism, uh, poverty, conspiracy theories still posed a challenge to these traditional rulers in their efforts to protect rural people. So irrespective of their efforts, there is still so much work to be done in order to protect rural people. Because many of them felt that if you are telling them to stay at home and not go to the market and not go to ceremonial events, are you going to feed them? Are you going to provide food for them? So just like our title said, one of them said that it is better the person dies of hunger than staying at dies of uh, COVID-19 than staying at home and dying of hunger. Mm. That's quite shocking, isn't it? Thinking about that. Um, it is. Yeah. So what are the implications of this research? What, what should happen next? Okay. Um, we think that because of the uh, strategic position of these traditional rulers, they are uh, they have authority in rural communities and these authorities culturally supported so uh, in the time past they used to also serve as priests but now they are only traditional rulers so because of this authority we believe that for the nigerian government to be able to succeed in the fight against covid-19 they need to collaborate fully with this especially now that there is vaccine hesitancy with a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding the vaccine. So if the traditional rulers, like I, I, I interacted with some after the research and they showed me pictures of them taking the vaccine that they will share with their community people. So this is an effort to show the community people that since the traditional rulers have accepted this, we, the community people, can also accept this. So the, without them starting the the effort, the rural people do not actually accept the vaccine and also take up the protective measures. Right. Well, thank you so much for your research. Um, I've really enjoyed reading it and hearing about it. It's terrific. Thank you. Thank you.